Shalom, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, brothers and sisters, and a Hanukkah Tov, a Melkam Hanukkah to the eye in this season of the festival, the feast of uh, livication, the feast that's known as the feast of dedication or the festival of lights known as Hanukkah. I want to touch on the, the seven candles, the menorah, the Hanukkah, well, they call it the Hanukkiah. I was asked concerning that recently. And this, whether it is seven branches or which is the menorah of the scriptures that Yahweh, that Jah commanded to Moses for the children of Israel, for the, for the lampstand, whether the lampstand is seven branches or whether it's the Hanukkiah, which is the Marden Jews that call themselves Jews, they use the nine branch um, uh, lampstand called the Hanukkiah. But we want to touch on the menorah and the seven seals, the menorah and the biblical, the biblical, for lack of a better word, we're going to use the, the term chakras. In the Afro-Shemitic, we call it sifra. The Sifra from the Ethiopic is the Sifra. Here we get the word Sephirot within the modern um, speculations on the Kabbalah or Kebele. But there's a biblical or scriptural Kabbalah or Kebele as Yeshua HaMoshiach says, if you can receive it, he who can receive it, let him receive it. He who has an ear to hear, let him hear what the spirit, the spirit of truth saith to the churches. So this is the key. The key is the spirit because the Hanukkah or the Hanukkah, the Hanukkah, the Hanukkah is the nine branch. The nine branches are laid the invention of the Jews, modern Jews. When we're speaking of the, the miracle of Hanukkah within Maccabees and in this feast and festival of of dedication, that's what it's called in the Bible. We say livication because all live to him in this feast or festival of livication, which is the feast or festival of lights, right? The festival of lights or emet zoreach, right? The true light that shines. So we need to walk in the light, Right? And walk in the truth. This is why this feast or festival of livication is so very, very important. So I have a couple of um, a couple of um, um, word picks, uh, visuals, uh, visual enhancements, and and word pictures, right, to use and to utilize and to compare with the scriptures, so that we can understand, we can receive the the spiritual. Because there's a rite and a ritual, the rite and the ritual, right? It's not about so much the rites or rituals. And we're not condemning the rites or ritual. If you have the menorah, the seven branch lampstand, and you light it for one of light over the eight days, right? There, there, there is no, um, there is, there's no condemnation to that. It's just that many people get into the outer physical and forget the metaphysical, right? Or dealing with the natural and the fleshy and forget the, the, the supernatural and the spiritual. So give us the teaching of his majesty. I, and, I, and I want no devil's philosophy. So much of what we hear in the world and in the religions, and it, it's, it's, it's true and false. This is what we have to study. You know, it's true and false teaching. This is why the menorah, the question about the menorah and is it the seven branch or is it the eight branch? For I and I, for us, according to the scriptures, it is the seven branch lampstand, right? Because the seven branch lampstand, as we can see right here, the seven branch lampstand relates to the seven seals, right? Or we call the biblical seven seals in man, right? The biblical seven seals. Now the Lord's prayer or what's called the Lord's prayer, the our father prayer is, is, is a key, right? Is a key, is a key. 
Okay, it has seven verses, the Our Father prayer, seven verses. Now, another, another interesting thing you will notice too is based on the colors. Let's bring this over right here. It's based on the colors, all right? Let's look at this right here for a moment, the colors, right? We have the seven seals, right, in man. These are the seven seals in the book of life along the spinal column. Right, what can also be referred to in its and according to the the parable of Jacob's ladder. We have a Jacob's ladder, right? Jacob's ladder, right, as well as the tree. So the scripture uses various um similes, metaphors, um, word pictures. It uses word pictures, right? When it says that and he shall be like a tree that is planted right by the waters, the river's edge. When it uses um, language like the Lord is my light, Yahweh is my light. Right? He's my light. And light is a very, very important theme, right? Because everything that we see that is made physically, all the physical reality we learn, and it's been known from ancient of days, but now it has been re-so-called discovered by modern science, is based on light. So all of creation, right, is based on light. Condensed, right, condensed light, or light at various states of vibration. Now, this is what the Bible, the scriptures, right, this is what the Bible reveals. This is what the Torah Right, reveals. This is the revelation that we have in Moses' Torah, in the prophets, and in the gospels of our black Lord and Savior Yeshua HaMashiach. Right, so the seven, right, the seven, um, branch. Now these are branches, right? These are branches right here. The seven. Now the center branch is very key. The center branch as well as this, the center, um, the center uh, sifra, right? The center place or the center seal, right? Or the seat, sometimes it's called seat. And this all relates to the soul. Some believe that there are seven souls. The truth is that there are seven um, degrees of the soul, right? There are seven levels of the soul. When the Bible speaks about the fall of man, it's man falling from the true God or the Ha Elohim, the true God consciousness. We will call this today the Christ mind or the his true divine mind made in the image and after the likeness of the Almighty from the very beginning. This fall by eating of in disobedience. Right by eating of the tree of the knowledge of good or evil, man, humanity in its innocency, it's almost like a child doing something before they have the maturity. Right? You know, a child doing something before they have the maturity, like a if a child tries to eat some food and they're still a little babe and their teeth have not developed. You know what I'm saying? Can they chew that food? They cannot masticate their food because they have no teeth, right? And if they attempt to, if that food is given to the child and they cannot chew that food and the mother or the guardian or one is not there, that child can, can, can choke, right? Can choke. So in the same way, right? In the parable of Musa or Moshe or Moses in Moses' first book, concerning the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That man in disobedience, see Eve, Eve is the symbol in the, in the story, in the parable, Eve is the symbol of the soul, right? And the seven seals in man, right? The seven seals in man, right? Is the soul, right? Are the seven levels of the soul, the seven degrees of the soul. This is why the scripture speaks about Mary Magdalene, right? She had seven demons. This is to teach when these seats, right? When these seats um, are out of order and out of alignment, 
right, and are basically backwards, right, or they are in the wrong direction. They are, it, it, so it's like the star. It's like the, the, the pentagram. When the pentagram is is right side up, it's, it's a basic pentagram. It's symbolic of the feminine. But when now you turn the pentagram upside down, what do you have? You have what they call the goat's head, right? The inverted pentagram, right? So it's like nature. You see what I'm saying? It's like what they do with nature, what they do with the psyche, what they do with the feminine, right? What they do, they call black, white, white, black, turning of things upside down because the, the enemy, Satan, really has no power. Really, it doesn't have the power that the enemy has is to sow a seed, a seed of thought. It's like COINTELPRO. I was watching a program about Malcolm X by any means necessary. Um, I think it was on Mark Howard channel on the YouTubes. And it's a very good video about Malcolm X by any means necessary. And he basically edits various different videos and puts it together. And many of these videos I've seen too. And you, know, you watch one video, you watch the next video, then you begin to think in your mind, oh, that reminds me like in the other video, did they say what he did is basically bring a lot of those elements together. And there's a, there's a, um, a black man who's explaining COINTELPRO. I don't know if I have it in, in, um, I want to post that up because how he breaks it down, but he talks about how COINTELPRO, what they did was put out a seed. Right. And allowed people in their fallen state, in their upside down, in the heavily, the heavily burdened psychic state. When we're speaking about the so-called black people, the lost black sheep of the house of Israel to stop the rise of the black Messiah. They put out, they sow the seeds, tail bearing is what the Bible call it. They sow the seed. Right. And where do we. You know, where's the seat of our emotions, the heart, the heart of the matter, right? And this is one reason why you see where these colors are used, right? Especially in the seclorum, right? In the world, we find this upside down, right? We find the colors, they put red on top. And so when we look at these colors here, right? From the root, the groundation, we have the, the red, Right. We have the orange. Now, people say, well, where's the orange here? It's the line of the tribe of Judah. That's the amber orange line of the tribe of Judah right there. So we have the red, the orange, the yellow, and then we have the green or primarily usually the green, yellow and red or the red will say gold and green. Right. The red, gold and green. Now, the center chakra. Right, the center seat, the heart chakra is is, is the key, because the heart chakra is known in the mystery school of Christ as righteousness. The key word is the word to be received there is righteousness. It's righteousness. Right now, there's a whole teaching on unrighteousness or self righteousness. See, in self righteousness, this light, the light becomes darkness. And Christ spoke about that when he spoke about, let your eye be single. If your eye be single, right? So if this eye, the scripture also speaks about the seven eyes, right? Also in the scripture. So we have the number seven. And also in the, in the Hebrew, we have Sheba or Shiva, right? Sheba, right? Like the queen of the South, Sheba will rise in judgment and condemn that generation because she came from the what furthest point to the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and a greater than Solomon is here. So there is a, a, an, an obvious link and connection between this feast and this festival, which is the, is Hanukkah or the feast festival of, uh, they say dedication but actually means a feast, a festival of renewing, renewing the holy place, renewing the tabernacle, right? We're renewing that tent, that tabernacle. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the living God? Ha Elohim Chayim? Know ye, don't you know this? So where is the true temple? 
what is the true temple? The true temple, as Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus Christo says, the kingdom of God, right? The kingdom of God is within, right? It does not come by observation. It's not an outer thing, right? It's not an outer thing. So what I would hope and pray that brothers and sisters, you begin to, you know, meditate upon and study and may the Holy Spirit and pray for the Holy Spirit and wisdom so that you can learn these things for yourself. And some of you already know these things, but really seeing how it's it's always been there, but it's been misrepresented, misrepresented to us. But anyway, um, I want to touch on a couple other things, but I wanted to just do a, a quick vid. Right, a quick vid, and this is the vid right here that I wanted to do basically on the link between the menorah, right? The menorah, which which candle, uh, I keep saying candle, you get a taslika, which lampstand. See, in the modern sense, they say candle, but it's not, these are not candles, these are lights because the lampstand runs on oil, right? And the oil is a symbol of the spirit, right? And the fire. Right, the fire, our God, our Elohim, our power is a consuming fire. Right, so that's important to understand. It's not can candlesticks. Candlesticks is the modern Western Gentile state of mind. But if you don't, that's Babylon. That leads to Babylon. That leads to confusion. But now, when we study to show ourselves approved, we recognize that the proper menorah for Hanukkah is not the Hanukkah. But it is the menorah. That's what they had. They, that's what they had in that time, the menorah. Kind of a proof of it is from the Ark of Titus right here. These are the Romans, right? The Romans, because the Romans said that the, that, that the Jews were of the race of the Ethiopians. So to the Romans, very clearly, the Jews of 70 AD time were Ethiopian Hebrew or black people. Right, but here is where they looted the temple and they took certain articles from the temple, um, what they call Solomon's temple, but more accurately was Herod's was Herod's temple, and Herod was an Edomite, right, or Indumean. But the reason why I'm showing you the Ark of uh, Titus, right, or Titus right here, I'm showing you the Ark of Titus because you can see right here where the menorah is pictured, and you'll notice that the menorah, this is not a Hanukkah, right? And this is after the time of Maccabees, right? Because Maccabees is the intertestinal period. We can say 70 years, more than 70 years, right? About 100 years before 70 AD, right? So when we're speaking about the miracle of one day's worth of oil, Right, one day's worth of oil lasting for eight days. That's the miracle of Hanukkah. Right, that's the miracle right there of Hanukkah. Now, the 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 big picture context is found in Maccabees and in studying the intertestinal period. Right, the intertestinal period, which is the apocryphal, the pseudepigraphal uh, period between the Testaments, the Old Testament, last book, Malachi, and the New Testament, first book, Matthew. There's a very important half of the story, right, which has been taken out of most Bibles and most Christians and, you know, most people who seek to know the truth concerning the scriptures and Hebrews and Israelites. That's an aspect that they're not told or taught about in churches, especially not in so-called black churches. Right, because remember, it's all about the satanic um, pro uh, program, COINTEL pro, stop the rise of the Black Messiah. So any truth that would lead to that overcoming, right, is suppressed. So I want you to see the link right there. And now we have so lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Right, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Very, very interesting right here. Some of the elements, right, the ark with menorah. Ark of the Covenant, right? The Torah Scrolls, Lion of the Tribe of Judah. And here we have the, the menorah, the menorah that Yahweh, that Jah commanded. So the Hanukkah, the nine...